Rex, did you see Rebirth on Metacritic? Yes. So let's actually, let's pull it up. I've been getting tagged in this all morning. This is so good to see. Guys, it, it, it looks like we have another banger on our hands. A 93 for Rebirth on Metacritic. I would have actually covered this live, but honestly, I did not know that the review embargo ended. But you just look at this and I mean, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Look at the 100s, RPG Gamer, Silicon Era, Silicon Era, whatever, comicbook.com. Um, basically, universal nines and higher on this game. It has no mixed reviews and no negative reviews. Uh, insane. What is it on Open Critic? 100% recommend, recommended with a 93. I'll be honest with you. With the gamble that they're taking with the story, and we, we all know some of the events that we expect to happen in Rebirth, especially at the end. For this to get a 93 is insane. Not one mixed review, not one negative review. For, for, for what they're doing, which I think it's fair to say that what they're doing is controversial, right? Because people thought they were getting a one-to-one -one remake and they're not. They're changing it up. I don't think it's exaggerating to say they're taking one of the biggest gambles in gaming history to come out with a 93, and that's with 85 reviews on Open Critic, 116 reviews on Metacritic. For it to be, I think that that is one of the biggest dubs I've ever seen. I think it's one of the biggest dubs I've ever seen. If you would have asked me to try to guess what this game would do as far as its Metacritic and Open Critic. I mean, I probably would have would have guessed somewhere in the high 80s, maybe just because what they were doing with the story, even if the game ran good and even if the game had exceptional graphics and performance, which it doesn't, by the way, from what I've seen from Digital Foundry, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I don't feel like that'll be super important, but I'm just saying, even if everything else about this game was perfect. The gamble that they're taking on the story, I felt like it would, you know, it's it's bound to piss off some reviewers. It's bound to bring in some low scores. To get a 93 is insane to me. Nothing but praise to the team that's working on these games. I just hope and pray <clears throat> that between now and the final game, they lose nobody on that team. No layoffs. Nobody quits and leaves. I need this team to stay intact because what they're doing so far to garner pretty much universal praise from critics crazy crazy you mean to tell me that nobody came out like survivor with a seven out of ten you mean to tell me that nobody came out and wanted to like get some free clicks and gave this a, a five or a six nobody wanted the clout the game was so good nobody 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 went for it. Nobody wanted the free clicks and went with a negative or a mixed rating. That's crazy. GameSpot has some critiques. Sure, sure. But here they are with an 8 out of 10. I think an 8 out of 10 is good. I don't think there's anything wrong with the 8 out of 10. That's still a stellar score, in my opinion. Especially, especially when an 8 out of 10... Is that the lowest score? It didn't even get a, it didn't even get the controversial seven, not even one up here. A 7.5 was the lowest score that it could get from evil gamers. And it's just one. Everything else is an eight or higher. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? That's a huge. They really put the try button right here. Come on. Come on, hero wars. Come on, dog. Come on. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is great. I know we're not really supposed to put a lot of faith and we're not really supposed to put a lot of weight to Metacritic and Open Critic. And, and I don't, I don't. There's always a chance that I won't like the game or you won't like the game, right? But guys, I have to tell you that to me, this does make me even more excited for the game. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Either Square put out the assassins and the ninjas or the game is just that damn good, fam. And I'm willing to bet the game is that good. I can't wait for it. Day one.